Um, there's another one of uh, those beginner level stummer ones that uh, I keep getting some <laughs> polite requests for. Um, but I'll run through the chords, there's only a few. The first one is this uh, C with a G added on the third fret of the low E string. So you play your regular C like that. And, and just because the, the, with this strum you can really whack it a little bit, and it sounds a lot better on a 12, which I think is what the recording is. But you could do it on a 6 if you give it a little power and volume to it. So it's just a regular uh, C. I'll let you see it. First fret B string, second fret D, and then the E and the A in the third fret there. And strum it all the way through, get a nice. Now for the, I think I play it maybe a little bit different, but when it comes to that second chord, which is kind of, a, what is that, F major 7? It's that F without the high E string covered. So you might normally play it like that, but play it with all four. So you got first fret. In fact, on the two chords, uh, the B string at the first fret stays there on both those chords. So you have uh, first fret B string, second fret D, third fret uh, C, or sorry, it's a C note on the A string. But uh, for that second chord, if you were playing the first one like this, just take, uh, I take these two fingers and move them up one fret and then leave that G string open for both chords. It just gives it, I just like the drone effect of it. That's how I play the chorus part. But for the verses, I go back into where I cover on that second chord. I cover the G string, leaving the high E open. So uh, for the verses, I'm doing this. Just you kind of mellow out the strumming a little bit during the verse. So all three of those fingers just go up one string each. Well, this one stays, and the high E is open. But uh, when it comes to the chorus, I change that second chord so I'm not covering the G string. Again, that's just a... I like the way it sounds. <laughs> but I, I don't know if they're doing that or not. I can't tell with all the mix going on. So just practice that strum. And then when it goes into that little uh, middle eight section, there's two of them, I guess. Um, the future is open wide part. It's just an E minor, G, A minor. But I'm only playing really the, the bass strings on those, not full chords on them. Because I don't know if the acoustic continues underneath that part or not. There's a lot going on in it. Uh, but those are the only chords. And uh, most of it is the, it's a great strumming exercise because you can vary the strumming through it. Sometimes you're doing on that. Sometimes you just do It's a really nice, uh, you, you can fill in your own rhythm with it uh, and play around and see what you like. But if you have any trouble, I doubt you will. But if you do, uh, send me a note.